Hey everybody, so here I am, back again. Um, I've not put out a video in a very long time, related to Minecraft anyways. It's because I have not played Minecraft in a long time. Like, I quit, I just quit playing it, but um, I've tried to get back into it and getting back in the Redstone game and stuff. So, um... What I'm here to show you is, uh, I'll show you, if the title doesn't give it away anyways. So, what um, seemingly looks like a pillar of glowstone, which it is, it's just a pillar of glowstone, but, um, it's not only that, it is secret entrance. So, you have an underground base, or whatever. And, what I really like about it is just this right here. The, um, there's not like a, a switch or a button laying around um, that other people can see or push or anything. There's not a whole lot of indication that there's secret underground thing right here. So, there's that. Um, and I have rigged it so on your way in, there's not a timer so that it'll stay open as long as uh, you want it to. But there's a pressure plate, you know, relatively soon so that you just step on it and it closes. But, on the way out, when you step on this pressure plate, I have the logic set up so that if you press the pressure plate and you open it up, instead of closing it, it'll be set on a timer and it'll close this after a delay. Because obviously, if it's already open and you press it, it's not going to, you know, reopen it. It's just going to close it. And then... Let me try to... Here's the logic back here, which... This looks... Um, kind of big, I guess. It's not really compact. I'm not... Um, amazing at compacting the circuits, other people are better at that, but I kind of like it all kind of spread out like this so I can see what's going on and all that. But, um, I could explain all this to you if you, if anybody wanted me to, but, um, I'll just leave it alone for now. Just, anyways. You go out. And it automatically closes. I really like it. Oh man. I guess I actually busted that block last time I hit it. But um there's that. So I'll show you kinda how this works because it's the same thing over here. This one's like a lot less sophisticated, you know, with uh there's no timers or anything. Just regular doors. But how it works is Yeah, there's a torch right there. torch, a block, and then, I don't know why the sound is doing that, but, um, repeater on the other side of this. So, this torch powers, I don't know why my sound is messing up that bad, but, um, the torch powers this redstone, which powers this block, powering this repeater, and on to whatever you're doing. Not, not 
too bad. I like that one. I had a, a previous one that uses a torch like in a hallway or something, but this one you don't have to have. Like with the previous one you had to have, you could do that and it would power this block, which would power a repeater on the other side, but you had to have a block up here. Here, you can just have a wall, you know, anywhere. And that's why I have this pillar here. I'd like to be able to, there might be some way to do it out in the open where it would work, but I don't really mess with block update detectors or anything like that. This one, there's a torch, you saw the torch under there, which powers this block, which this will power that block repeater on the other side right under there, which goes on to power the contraption. So there is that. Um, really, I just did a, I'm working on a bigger project right now, which is this, this is, I'm trying to do, my big project right now is, I'm trying to make an, uh, an instant ALU, um, an instant calculator, basically, I've, I've made a calculator before, other people, tons of people have made them, but they're all really slow. And so the big thing now seems to be instant logic. And um, these are instant gates made by Seth Bling. That's a not gate, and these are repeaters. But um, this is a 5 bit decoder. So you can see the inputs right here you know, the binary input, and then the uh, outputs are all over, over here. But the whole thing, as far as I know, is instant. So as soon as you hit it, the output is instantaneous. So that's one part of the uh, contraption. I took a break from that big project and made this just secret entrance. I don't, I mean, <laughs> I don't have anything in here because, you know, running zombie mod and all that, I have all the, I don't have anything to hide, but... It's just fun to make secret entrances. Well, um, I guess that's it. I guess I'll put a, tu tu a tutorial out for this if I, you know, get requests to, but I don't plan on it right now. Um, I'll put a video out for that if I ever finish it. But, uh, I guess I'll see you guys later.